Hey everybody, Mitchell here from the Hockey Referee Resource, and this video is all about blue line positioning in the two official system. So when we talk about positioning, everyone always thinks about end zone positioning. Home base, half piston at the net, stay out of the way, bump and pivot, go below the goal line, get back to your piston system positioning, see the play, make the call. We don't talk a lot about blue line positioning, but it's important. The first reason why it's important is because if you are not understanding how to position yourself at the blue line, your offside calls are not going to work as well. You're not going to be trusted by the arena. If you're making a call from a bad position on the ice, it's just not going to be trusted by the arena. The second reason is that your blue line positioning helps you make sure to have a minimum effect on the play if the puck hits you. If you're on the wrong side of the blue line and it hits you, you'll stop the puck from getting into the zone or out of the zone. That's bad. If you're in the correct position on the blue line and the puck hits you, you at least know that the puck has changed zones so that you're not causing an offside or causing the puck to stay in a zone when it was meant to change zones. So there's two rules to blue line positioning. The first rule is that if the puck is in the end zone and you are the back official, you are going to be 20 to 30 centimeters, so about a foot outside of the line. If the puck is in the neutral zone, and this is now where there is no end zone posi positioning for the officials because the puck's in the neutral zone, both officials are going to be 20 to 30 centimeters inside each blue line. Notice that it doesn't say that you are inside the neutral zone. As an official and the play's in the neutral zone, both officials are going to be at their blue lines inside each end zone big blue line tip here. So this is kind of like a third rule, but those main two rules of being in the end zone when the puck's in the neutral zone, or outside the blue line when the puck's in the end zone, those are your main two rules. But the big tip to add to this as almost like a third rule, but not quite, the big tip is that you want to be square to the puck. So the only time that your back is to the boards is if you're looking straight down a line to make a call. Otherwise, you're square to the puck. You're always moving your body to be square to the puck. So let's look at what these rules look like when the puck is in the end zone. So there's the puck. You can see it down in the bottom left corner of your screen. You can see that O2 is the end zone official who is currently at home base. And then O1 is the blue line official who's at the blue line. Notice that O1's feet are square to that puck. Not with the back to the boards, but square to that puck. Let's talk about that a little bit more, about being square to the puck. So here's another image. That puck is on the blue line official side of the ice. And let's take a closer look. So we've just zoomed in there to that blue line so you can get a better idea of what this looks like. That puck is in the corner right now. Let's say that that puck bounces towards the net. That blue line official is going to pivot so that their feet stay square to that puck. Even when it's far away, get into the habit of always being square to the puck, always facing that puck. Puck bounces to the far side of the ice. Blue line official is going to change their feet so that they stay square to that puck. It's always the same idea, square to that puck. The puck bounces back towards their side of the ice. Stay square to that puck. Let's watch it a second time. Puck goes to the net. Stay square to that puck. Puck goes to the far side of the ice. Stay square to that puck. Puck comes back to you. Stay square to that puck. That's always what you're going to be doing when you're the blue line official, 20 to 30 centimeters outside of that line when the puck is in the end zone. You're square to that puck. The second part to understanding your blue line positioning is when the puck is in the neutral zone. So there's an image of the puck being at the neutral zone. There's no animations for this one, but you're gonna notice two things. First of all, both the officials are at their blue lines. They're not deep in the zone. They're not inside the neutral zone. They're inside their blue lines. That way, if the puck hits them, they know that the puck has went into the zone that they're in. Second, you can see that both of them are square to that puck. Their feet are oriented towards where that puck is because it makes it easier for them to get out of the way if the puck comes towards them. So, that's the idea of understanding blue line positioning if the puck's in the end zone or if the puck's in the neutral zone. Now, let's see what that looks like in the line.
In the two official system, or as a linesman, we want to be ahead of the play coming towards us, which means we're skating backwards. So to make your offside call at the blue line, work your way backwards and stop just inside the blue line. This is where we're going to make our call. And as a linesman, we would move back outside the line. In the two official system, we would work our way into the end zone to work the piston system. Offside, 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 offside. Good. So taking a look at this first video, we're looking at how the play moves up the ice in our blue line positioning. So the play is going up the ice, the referee follows the play up, he gets ahead of the play just inside that blue line, he's in the right position to make a call. Looking at it one more time, gets ahead of the play, doesn't stop in the neutral zone, gets inside the offensive zone, makes his call, then proceeds into the end zone. In this next example, we'll take a look at play in the neutral zone. So here's the play in the end zone. Play is going to go up towards the blue line, get out, and you can see the referee is now going to take up a position inside his end zone while that play is in the neutral zone. Both officials are inside their own zones so that they're ready and in position to make a call if the play comes back towards them. Finally, let's talk about blue line positioning when the puck is in your partner's end zone. Here's your picture here. You're outside that zone when the puck is in your partner's zone. It's as simple as that. You're also facing the puck rather than having your, your butt against the boards. After a line change procedure, it's the same idea. That official doing line change is going to get over to the boards outside the zone while her partner drops the puck. There it is right there. So she's outside her blue line and then she would proceed down to taking up whatever positions necessary.